So we have a huge article here from Jeff Passan, friend of the program. Just like his general like recap, the best case scenario, according to Passan and a bunch of people within baseball, is that you get the 80 to 100 games and it feels like a real season and teams play uh, other teams enough and then you have the playoffs in a neutral site. So that's like best best case scenario that they still think is possible. Worst case scenario is something we've mentioned on here, doing a round robin tournament like a World Cup style thing, which would be the quote in the article from one MLB executive was, give, give us 60 days and we'll put on a show. There's going to be no tournament style uh, baseball. And the reason for that is the players and the owners want to play as many games as possible and a, a tournament doesn't suit that. So they... I think that's out the window. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think there's a, a chance of that at all. I'm still going to stick with my July, early July start date, and I'm still going to stick to the 80 to 100 games. I think they're going to be able to do it. That in the article they say is still best, best case. So if I get myself excited for that, it seems like a fool's errand to me to get excited for the best, best case. Like I always try to, okay, what's two steps down from that? I'll pencil that in. And then if there's good news, I'll be excited or if it's that, I'll be still excited. What do you think would change? And like, the, why gov- do you think that- the government would be like, eh, can't do this. Or one dude's going to get test positive and then the whole thing's put on pause. The part that scared me off at first is that MLB is still going to try to sell this as, you know, your, your 2020 World Series winner, which is just a sports fan nightmare. Um, whether, whether they do Passan's World Cup format he made up or something else, people just aren't going to accept that. And I, I think that's just the, you know, Jim, you said if they should just call it something else and you're right, but I don't think they would. I think they'd try to dance around that. So if they can get 80 games in, I'll allow it. But you know that you're going to have millions of fans saying that title wasn't real. If we do have 80 games, 90 games, 75 games, whatever it is, if we're going to do that, all the fans need to agree that you Beforehand. can't pull that out of the back pocket. Yeah. If Nolan Arenado that's 393 and wins the MVP, you know, you can't be mad about that. Like we, we know what we're getting into. We're all playing by the same rules, handshake before the season. It's not just 80 games. It's 80 games against new division opponents, new scheduling, no travel, uh, double headers every other day, you know, which might completely change your pitching rotation. 30 guys on the, it's, it's not just a shortened season. Yeah, but I mean, okay, so the first year that they had a DH, does that like not count either? Like there are changes in baseball all the time. So I, I'm just saying that I think you can't expect people to not be like, this isn't what real baseball is. You still need that semblance of an AL East and NL East and the divisions because, uh, again, if we, start, if we start getting wonky with the divisions, that's when I think you don't I think that's when you don't get the handshakes. I think that's when you get fan bases going, this wasn't a real baseball season. But the schedule is already weighted anyway. So who cares? I mean, it's not like I've been pushing for and a lot of people have been pushing for a balanced schedule. Like every team should play every team. That's how you get to know who the best teams are. When you're, you know, in a crappy division and you play those teams more than you play the other teams, like why aren't we talking about that? Just because they're the preset divisions and that's what matters, like I don't. I've been care talking about, about it. That's why the Twins were fake last year. Talked all about it. So yeah, so, every episode. So twenty nineteen, not legit for the like, Twins. I, I, yes, just for just for the season, any season, because they're always <laughs> going to be. There's always going to be teams that, like you're saying the twenty nineteen Twins who take advantage of a weak division. I don't. I don't think it's any anything different unless we already had. A balanced schedule, and then we're reverting back to an unbalanced schedule. Then I could see the where we would say, "Oh, maybe it's not legit." But like we're already doing that, so it's just a different schedule. You know, it's not like it's like going from balanced to unbalanced. So I think I don't have any problem. I would if we get if we get a hundred games in, I'm one hundred percent calling it a legitimate season. The only thing is totally. 100 games for sure. Uh, well, we're all in agreement that 80 to 100 games, we would consider it a real season with the World Series winner. It's the round robin thing that they better re- rebrand that to not a World Series. But I don't, th- Jake and I don't think they will. And then you have a big public like, well, uh, the only thing about this, like the shortened season that really gets me and it kind of hurts, like when you really start to think about it, is like 
the guys who are on pace for like Hall of Fame numbers. We're talking about, and I'll just say it, Mike Trout. You know, he's he's on pace to become the best player of all time. We're like literally watching the best baseball player of all time right in front of our eyes lose a year or at least half a year of statistics, of counting stats in his prime. Are you in the camp of that the money, if we get through everything else, the money will figure itself out or it needs to be kind of more addressed in the nose? Well, it'll figure itself out. But I, it, um, so the players are okay with doing the prorated. Like they understand that that's, that makes sense because, you know, the teams have to pay back their TV contracts if they don't fulfill the right amount of games. So the players are okay with taking prorated. But when it's, but when it's a prorated salary, so you play 80 games, so it's half, you get paid half already. And then the owners are saying, well, there's no fans, so our revenue's cut. So now we're also going to have to take off a percentage of that. That's what they don't want to do. They're okay with saying, we understand we're only playing half the game, so we only get the paid half. That makes sense. But the precedent they don't want to set is if there's no fans in the stands, which who knows? This could be a thing that happens every couple of years. You don't know what's going to happen. So you don't want to set that precedent where it's like if there's no fans in the stands, you're going to make 10% of the prorated amount of games or 10% of your contract. They just don't want to start that. So I think that's kind of we need to clear that up. But I do think like the money will figure itself out.